unmolding is one of the worst things ever to have to do. Okay. <laughs> Mike. Hi. You surprised me with something. I did. I decided it's time to cover this opening. <laughs> so, at least with this, these pieces, I don't have. We're not going to trim it out yet. A long enough uh, casement to do it, but I do have this. So we're going to put this up, and then I'll put the sides up, and it's going to look less like it's under construction. Perfect. But I need you to hold one side for me. Okay. Also included in this is this. this. Everything, how quick, it's amazing how quickly something becomes a workshop in here. Let's you pull all these tools out. Okay, <clears throat> so, are you close to up against the side over there? Mm -hmm. We have a few minutes before we need to go to our church youth activities. So I figured I would just get the first coat of paint on the shelves while Mike is still working on this so that I can do the other side either later tonight or tomorrow. Mike's in a work meeting, and I forgot to record, but I just wanted, I realized that I want to be able to get the TV up sooner rather than later, and so I should just get going on this up here so that it has time to dry, and get a second coat. So if you're wondering why I'm doing, I'm rolling and then pulling my paintbrush, it's because you would think a foam roller makes it really smooth, but it actually leaves a lot more texture than just this paintbrush does. This paint levels really well, which means it gets really smooth, but it not as well if you're using the roller. It leaves like a texture, which on the walls is fine, but for woodwork, you want it as like really smooth. And so I am rolling it on because it goes faster, gets the paint out really fast, and then I'm pulling the paintbrush over it to smooth it out. Anyways, I think it looks really pretty, and I'm happy with the edges here. They're not perfect, but they're a lot better than I thought they would be. That's good. So I've been working on this crown molding. That's my next step here. And crown molding is one of the worst things ever to have to do. This could be some kind of punishment, I think, for someone if they're very bad in life. Um, because you have to have multiple angles that have to come together, um, especially if you've got, like up here, I've got this. You have two different corners right there, an in outside corner, inside corner. You've got to get the actual length correct. And the length has to hit just perfectly at the bottom on both ends, even though you've got two different angles on each end. This one, <coughs> you can't even see it. And this one, they're two different angles because they're two different corners. 
Then also you have this angle, the angle of the actual cut. See that? Which way the blade is going, which also has to be correct. And I've gone through three different sticks of crown for this one spot, and I keep on getting it wrong. Either I'm doing the length too short because I think I should be measuring to the top when I should be measuring to the bottom of what the cut's gonna be. Or I ended up having the crown molding. Also, it's there's a top and a bottom to crown molding and you gotta make sure you've got it oriented properly on your saw so that you, you and you're also, you're marking it and then you're turning it around and flipping it because you're supposed to cut it upside down. Anyways, it's really, really difficult for my brain at least. Maybe somebody out there does not have a hard time with it, but <sighs> crown molding, it's the worst. So I gotta go buy a whole nother bundle of this stuff because I ran out because I keep on screwing up on these pieces. Also, this is kind of difficult because you've got these little bump outs, you know, it's not just a straight wall with just one corner. You've got multiple corners um, and that's kind of new to me. So this one has thrown me for a little bit of a loop. This has been very stressful for you because crown molding is crazy hard. You're a newbie and you just had to do like, like a very complex crown molding job by doing these yeah. corners here. For me, it's impossible to get everything to line up properly. So that's caulking will hopefully save us on. Well, it looks really good. I can't, so. in like 2020, when we bought you like the saws and stuff, you didn't even really know how to use them. Nope. And here you are building beautiful <laughs> furniture for our house. It's debatable whether I know how to use them. No, oh my goodness. It's just incredible. Like, this looks so good. It looks so good. I can't believe it. I really can't. I, wow. It's like fancy. It's like we've never had anything this nice. Mm. Well, there you go. Now it's time to start caulking and filling nail holes and also... I don't. Megan, what did you tell Alexa to do? I told her to play 80s love songs, but she might have thought I said Asian love songs, so we're listening to something, I think maybe from India. It's Asian love songs. It's actually pretty great. <laughs> so this is going to be the soundtrack to uh, caulking and filling holes. I'm going to keep going with the crown and try to get all the way around the room with that, because I've got enough. Maybe we can actually get this room crowned out. It's your crowning achievement. Totally. I, I do consider it that. Get it? <laughs> I get it. Next day, Mike is continuing to work on the crown trim, and I am gonna paint. I have a little bit over there, as you saw, and I did a little bit here, but now it's all taped up and it's all trimmed up, so I can just start painting. species of wood so if I don't well, matching it might be kind of iffy this is pine this is red oak but I'm gonna stain it and I'm gonna be okay with the imperfect matching just like the fireplace doesn't completely match because then Mike can trim it out and uh, can be done with it so wish me luck see I just dropped some stain on the floor well if it doesn't stain well I can always paint it I am not doing a very good job. I should have my kid take it off. I think we're gonna have to paint it. 
I forgot that pine has kind of this splotchy way unless you treat it really specially. I'm gonna have a really hard time matching it to these floors. So I'm not even gonna try, I'm just gonna paint it. You're such a special guy. That looks nice. Okay, I pulled the tape over here because this side is done and you guys will notice I asked you if I should paint that section or keep it and I have kept it. And I think visually that makes the most sense to me. Um, it obviously still needs some restoration work. The whole thing does, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. And then once I get the guts, I will paint the other side. My body's just very tired. later that evening and I just like let, dressing like a Victorian woman in mourning. Just kidding. We just finished not one but two ghost tours because it's that time of year and everybody wants to go on a ghost tour. We did a 12 year old's birthday party which made us feel beforehand like so they booked it a private tour and a little bit like we were like clowns or something but it was so fun because 12 year old girls are so into ghost stories and they were like squealing with terror. It was really fun. But I am so anxious to put up these shelves that I'm just gonna do it now. I'm not gonna change my clothes. <laughs> so Mike's gonna help me and we're gonna get these in. Okay, it's the next day. Pearl is in the middle of her flute lesson and it's not a big house, so we get that as our beautiful background music. She's gotten so much better the last couple years. I'll tell you what, yesterday was Sunday, so we took it easy. We had a church conference, watched it on the TV, was super happy. Just felt so good in this room. And like last night when I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, which I always do now because I'm an old lady, just even then walking through, it's like, oh, it feels so restful in here. So very happy. And I cannot wait that in next time's video, I get to spend my time pulling in my art out of the boxes, my books out of the boxes, my plants and my plates and sure, she's got everything. Do all that good stuff. I probably also will be painting the rest of the crown because there's crown up there and the trim. I think actually we're gonna do one more thing over here. Still lots to do, but this was like, I didn't know when this was gonna happen. It was overwhelming and Mike just built me the shelves of my dreams. I'll let Mike put up the sound bar, um, hang it up and then we'll finish the video. The sound bar looks really, oh look, there's our reflection. There's us. That looks really good. It looks a lot cleaner for I mean, what it know, has to be. And then I can put anything. decor on there and stuff. Mike was asking if we can fit all of our stockings and I'm like, well, we're gonna have to. I think we can. Yes, I'm so excited. You did amazing. I think oh. probably everybody at home is just as impressed as me. I'm well, it took a while to figure out. So if you have enough time, you can do it. I YouTube, the tools, like really you, you did lean into YouTube a lot. Yeah, I, I watched some videos that were very helpful. So. Well, it looks awesome. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Well, I don't know if that's true. I couldn't do it. <laughs> when I was watching Mike do this crown and he was losing like his mind. Yeah, we didn't show that. It was so that. hard. I was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't even come close to doing that. So thank you for losing your mind while putting on the crown. Luckily I got it back after I got finished. Yeah, so. he did. Um, and then I just want to once again, put in a plug for this paint. I'm not sponsored, but the Magnolia furniture paint that's at um, Lowe's is just incredible. It like is so smooth once it dries. It's, and then it's super durable. I'm very, very happy with it. We have it as the, on the beadboard backsplash in our kitchen and I've like wiped it and it's great, it's, right. it's very right. durable. 
So I'm gonna be painting all of the trim in this room with that paint. This color is called Gatherings, if you're wondering. It's kind of a taupey gray or grayish, um, and it looks really good. Very happy to see this coming together. And I know once again, I'll say, I got lots of comments about like, how hideous the rug. the rug was, or the sofa, or how bad it looked, or this pink chair, because it's too modern, but I like eclectic, because then I don't feel too much like I'm just like, you know, creating like a set for a movie or something. <laughs> and I, this room makes me so happy, everything in it. So that's the point, right? That like, it doesn't matter if it's on trend or if it's in style, because what does that even mean anyways? It's just coming together and creating like the vision of what, I want and like the story that I want to tell with my home. So especially once we get the books in here and the the fake plants. And well, the rest of the trim. Yes, and so, the art and all yeah, of that. Yeah, that's the next step is to finish trimming out the windows, get all the baseboards in. And oh yeah, trim. we're gonna have trimmed out windows and Mike's gonna do an extra deep. Um, well, not like super deep, but. But just... deep enough so the kitties can sit on it. <laughs> Cause I love it when they sit at the window. Yeah, so, so that we, hopefully in the next week we should be done with that. Yeah, so and that will be the room, next video. I think we'll actually be done, done. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Um, and also in our next video, Elijah's coming home. Spoiler alert. Whoa. So that will be fun too. And we'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming along. Bye. Bye.